Konnichiwa, Kongbangwa, welcome back to my channel Japan Anthesius and in this episode I'll talk about my top 10 anime endings of winter 2023. It's been a little too late but anyway I need to do this because at the end of the year I will do the compilation of each season. And here are the top 10 and first let me show you the honorable mention. Number 10, Oyukiumi no Kaina, Juvenile by Green. So Green is an old school uh, group. Uh, they are at the same era as this flow and Asian Kung Fu generation, if I'm not mistaken. And they are just returned to feel the ending of Oyukiumi no Kaina. And I think they deserve at least the 10th spot on my list. <laughs> Number 9, Blue Lock Ending 2, Numbness Like a Ginger by Unison Square Garden. So the Blue Lock op first opening filled by Unison Square Garden and now Unison Square Garden do the second ending and it's a very different style from the first opening because while the first opening is hyping you up, this is like toning you down and say that uh, this is the end of the blue lock for a season. And that's the reason why I put it on my number 9. Number 8, Boku no Hero Academia 6th season ending 2 by 6th launch. So this song is uh, not as hard hitting as the uh, first ending of the sixth season, but it still has that lingering feeling uh, on your mind because uh, the arc itself is dark. It's the first uh, time uh, Boku no Hero Academia f um, do the dark arc, and I think it really fits to the arc itself, and that's the reason why I put it on my number eight. <laughs> Number 7, Bungo Stray Dogs 4th Season Ending Shiroshi by Luck Life. So Luck Life uh, sounds is just really heartful. I mean, uh, the opening of the Bungo Stray Dogs, uh, at the ending of the Bungo Stray Dogs at the 3rd season, if I'm not mistaken, is really, really impactful and I like that. Uh, same as this ending also, has a really heartful vibe in it. And that's the reason why I put it on my number 7. Number 9, I mean number 6, Near Automata Fair 1.1a ending Antinami by Amazarashi. So Amazarashi is just one of my most favorite musician, Japanese musician of all time. Um, and this is uh, not the exception, I mean the Kyokaisen, the opening of the uh, 86 anime is just wonderful and I have a same feeling of vibe uh, in this ending and that's the reason why I think it deserves an at least number 6 spot on my list. Number 5 Dungeon ni deait no wa motomeru no wa machigeteru no daroka yo fuka show yakusai hen or in short it is the Danmachi season 4 part 2 uh, the title is Kirikizu by Sajo no Hana and Sajo no Hana is just really good at making song uh, whether it is an opening or ending and it's not exception for this ending i mean it's really really good and that's the reason why i put it on my number five <laughs> 
Number 4, Mononogatari ending Rebind by True. So the last time I hear True was from the Violet Evergarden and also uh, Tensei Shitara Slime Dat Taken or Tensura. Uh, and Mononogatari is just, I mean, the most underrated shows in this season. And the opening and ending is really top tier. And that's the reason why I put the Mononogatari ending at my number 4. Number 3, Finland Saga Season 2 Ending Without Love by LMYK. So LMYK is, I don't know how to say it because um, she is just, uh, I, I, this is the first time I heard about her. Um, but then it's really, really fits to the show, the tone itself, the song itself. I even listened to this song on the Spotify, uh, it just uh, speaks volume and that's the reason why I put it on my number 3. Number 2, Tokyo Revengers Seiya Kassen Hand ending Kizutsu Kedo Aishiteru by Do You. So for this one, I mean uh, Tokyo Revengers ending never fail on me. Uh, it's always good and it's the same as the first one also uh, I, I can't say much about it I just really like this song and that's the reason why I put it on my number 2 Number 1 Urusei Yatsura Ending 2 by Mai Sendes Fit Yama Nito I mean uh, Yama uh, one of the best uh, newcomer singer I mean uh, she always made a song that's really heartful that's really impactful that's really really uh, melancholic but uh, also uh, has a hyping up vibe in it uh, I mean it is just the perfect combination of it because Urusei Yatsura and Yama is just I don't know, it has that magical effect on me and that's the reason why I put it on my number one. So do you agree with my list? Let me know in the comments below. Please thumbs up, subscribe my channel and also share it to other people who also are Japan enthusiasts. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Jenny.